Good morning, church. I thank you for the privilege I have of spending time with you, um, spending time with you in the morning, each morning this coming week. We're going to be looking at what I call life verses. And these verses, I mean, verses that have changed my life, changed my values, changed my attitude and my motives. One such group of verses is from 1 Corinthians in chapter 13, verses 4 through to 7. It reads like this. Love is patient. Love is kind. It, is, it does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Containing those verses are both promise and truth. And I found that God is able to fulfill those things because of who He is. John wrote a bit later, he said, God is love. And that's important to remember. As a young boy, I attended what was called SCA camps. At one of these camps, I was, I believe, moved by the Holy Spirit to walk in front of all my mates to the front of the group and to accept Jesus into my life. It was an emotional event. There were lots of tears. And that was uncool for a boy to be crying in front of his friends. But I was really moved, I believe, to do that. But it didn't change my life. It didn't change my motives. It didn't change my attitude or even my behavior. In the course of time, I believe by His grace, and God is so gentle and so amazing about this, that He called me, I believe, into the full-time ministry by His grace, not of anything I've done. And as an Anglican minister, I had the privilege of preparing couples for marriage. Now, I want to tell you that my example of marriage was my parents. And often that wasn't a very good experience because I was the go-between between between two silent, non-communicating members. And that was for a couple of days at a time. And so I I learned more out of the preparation than I think the couples I was preparing. Because I found that in that passage, you could take one word. Remember I said, God is love? You could take that one word, God, and replace the word love with the word God. And so it would read something like this. God is patient. God is kind. He does not envy. He does not boast. He is not proud. He is not rude. He is not self-seeking. He is not easily angered. He keeps no record of wrongs. He does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. God always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. God never fails. Now, because of who God is, He is able to fulfill both the promise and the truth contained in those verses because of who He is. Then I met Jesus. And my life began to change. And I realized that God, in His gentleness, in His amazing love for me, was revealing that He was in no ways going to leave me the way He found me. He was going to change me to reflect the very person that I have committed my life to. If you look at Romans in chapter 8 and verse 29, and I'm reading from the Living Bible, it says this, For from the very beginning, God decided that those who come to Him, and all along He knew who would, should become like His Son, so that His Son would be the first with many brothers. So God has this promise that He is going to be love in all its fullness and He wants me to be exactly the same. And just as God is able to do what He has promised because of who He is, God wants to do the same in me, to change me in such a way that I become an example of His love reflected in my life so that I can rewrite those words of that particular reading from 1 Corinthians and instead of putting the word God, I could put my own name without any, without any incrimination. I could say, Tony is patient. Tony is kind. Tony does not envy. 
Tony does not boast. He is not proud. He is not rude. He is not self-seeking. He is not easily angered. He, he doesn't keep a record of wrongs. He does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Tony always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. He never fails. Wow. That's what God wanted to do in my life and what he wants to do in yours as well. And that, I hope, is what we are going to be looking at in greater detail in the coming days. I look forward to meeting with you tomorrow. God bless you today in abundance. Amen.